Two friends, Faraz and Junaid, are playing cricket. Faraz bats first and scores 15 runs. Now it's Junaid's turn. Guess how many runs Junaid will score? Well, he may score less than 15 or equal to 15 or more than 15. How do we show this information in mathematical form? In mathematics, we compare various quantities or numbers by using different symbols. For example, the equal to symbol is used to show that two quantities or numbers are equal. To show that a number is less than another number, we use this symbol. Going back to the example, we write that Junaid's score is less than 15. This means Junaid can score runs from 0 to 14 but not 15. Can we show the less than or equal to symbols together? Yes, we can. In mathematics, we combine the less than and is equal symbols and get this new symbol. It is in fact the less than symbol with a line under it. From our example, Junaid's score is less than or equal to 15, which is written as. This means that Junaid can score runs from 0 to 15. How do we show this mathematically if a number is greater than another number? To show that a number is greater than another number, we simply reverse the less than symbol. In the example, Junaid's score is greater than 15, which is mathematically written as It means Junaid can score 16, 17 or more runs but not 15 and less. Just as we combined the less than and equal to symbols, we can similarly combine the greater than and equal to symbols and express this combined form through this symbol. Notice that it is actually a greater than symbol with a line underneath. So Junaid's score is greater than or equal to 15 is expressed as it shows that Junaid can score 15 and more. Remember that all these symbols are called signs of inequalities. Now, let's relate these symbols with the number line. Remember that number lines are visual ways of representing ordered numbers. Let us represent whole numbers less than 6 on a number line. Whole numbers less than 6 means 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, but not 6. We can represent these numbers on the number line either by highlighting through dots or by circling the selected numbers. Next, let's consider this statement and represent it on a number line. To represent whole numbers less than or equal to 6 on a number line, we highlight all the whole numbers that are less than or equal to 6 on the number line. These whole numbers include 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Let us consider another example. We need to represent whole numbers greater than 6 on a number line. Greater than 6 will contain all the whole numbers that are greater than 6 but will not include the number 6. These numbers are 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and so on. The selected numbers are highlighted through dots. We use an arrow in the top right hand corner of the number line to indicate that they are infinite whole numbers greater than 6. Next, how can we represent whole numbers greater than or equal to 6 on a number line? 
We can do this by including all the whole numbers greater than 6 as well as the number 6 itself. The numbers are 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and so on. We highlight the required number by using dots. Again, we use an arrow to indicate that the numbers continue till infinity. Let us test ourselves. Take a moment to draw a number line and represent these whole numbers on it. Let us review. The numbers less than 7 contain 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 but not 7. We represent these numbers by drawing a number line and highlighting 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 and 0 through dots. Whole numbers greater than 10 mean all whole numbers that are greater than 10 till infinity. Remember, we will not include number 10. So, we will highlight the numbers 11, 12 and 13 by using dots and this arrow to indicate that the numbers continue indefinitely. The numbers that are less than or equal to means all the numbers that are less than 7, including the number 7 itself. Hence, the numbers are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. We can represent this by drawing a number line and highlighting through dots on 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 and 0. Whole numbers greater than or equal to 10 means all whole numbers that are equal to 10 and greater than 10. These numbers will include 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 and so on. Again, Represent these numbers on the number line through dots on 10, 11, 12 and 13. We use this arrow to indicate that we have unlimited whole numbers greater than 10. To summarize, we learnt how to represent whole numbers that are less than or greater than a given number on a number line. We also learned how to represent whole numbers on a number line that are less than or equal to and greater than or equal to a given number.